Hello, I'm Holly. And I'm Keenan. And, and we are, we are Holiday, Holiday with, with the Hartmans. Hartmans. Thank you for clicking on our ship tour of the Adventure of the Seas as we explore every nook and cranny of the ship. At the end of the video, we'll have our cabin tour as well. If you like what you see and would like to track out more of our travel vlog from the cruise, we'll begin posting them in the next week or two. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to share it with your friends and family as you're planning your own trip on the Adventures of the Seas. If you have any questions about things that were shown in the video, please ask below and I'll do my best to answer them. The ship tour will begin on the lowest level of the ship that had public areas available to explore, which was Deck 3. There are some cabins on Deck 2 and meeting spaces, but we were unable to get any footage of that. We will work our way up to the very top of the ship. If you want to check out a specific area of the ship without watching the entire video, I have included timestamps below so you can just click and view exactly what you want to check out. I've included snippets from the vlog so you can see some of the activities that happen on board. We had an absolutely wonderful time on board and the crew was fantastic. We hope you enjoy the tour. The main dining room, or MDR for short, is called the Sapphire Room. It spreads across three floors and starts on Deck 3 and goes all the way to Deck 5 with entrances on each floor. You'll be assigned a table which you can see in your reservation information online and in the app. It will start with either a 3, 4, or 5 and this will tell you what floor you want to go to to get to your table. If you are traveling with a larger group like we were, you'll want to make sure that you speak with the staff before your first seating to make sure that you're all sat together. On our first night, Holly and I were sat on three while the other five people from our group were sat on deck four. And then we were all crammed together on a table for five instead of an eight top. We now know to verify this with the staff before our first seating to avoid this issue in the future. Just outside the main dining room entrance on deck three, you'll find the photo gallery and studio B. The photo gallery was used for looking at all of the photos that were taken by the cruise photographers, as well as a space for pictures to be on display before the art auction, which was held in the Imperial Lounge during the sea day. They also had different cameras and accessories available for purchase in case you forgot to bring something or you perhaps broke your camera. Studio B is located at midship between the MDR and the Lyric Theater and completely separates the aft from the forward portions of the ship. Studio B is similar to other royal ships if you've been on them. It doubles as a performance space as well as an ice skating rink. They have ice shows, they have game shows, and free skate here as well. I know on some ships they will also have laser tag occasionally in Studio B, but I do not remember seeing that as an option on this ship. We came here for the Battle of the Sexes and the Quest game shows. The Lyric Theater is located at Ship Forward. It spans across three decks from 2, 3, and 4. The main entrance is located on 3, but you have to enter it by going up to Deck 4 forward and then taking the staircase or elevators down. It is a very large theater for this size of ship, and we never ran into issues trying to find seating. They will use the theater for a variety of shows, from port information to large-scale performances and more. The initial footage here is from a welcome ceremony for high-status travelers from the Crown and Anchor Society. We later checked out the K-9 
Can't Stop the Rock production, which covered a variety of songs from different famous movies, including James Bond and Charlie's Angels. It was a great show overall with some incredible singers. From here, we will head to Deck 4. Deck 4 is most likely where you will first board the ship on the very first day of sailing. Deck 4 contains an exterior walking area around the ship that will lead to the observation deck at the front of the ship on Deck 5. This is also where a lot of the lifeboats are stored. Near the forward of the ship, you can access Lyric Theater via a staircase as well as chops. Unfortunately, I was unable to get into the restaurant to show you in this video, but I did try to include the menu. Across from Chops is the Schooner Bar. It is one of the few bars with TVs which allow you to watch sporting events while you're at sea. This area is also used as the piano bar and for random trivia and other fun activities throughout the sailing. Just past the schooner bar is Casino Royale.
On the other side of the casino is Boleros. This bar was commonly packed each night with live music and dancing. Moving up to Deck 5 forward, you will find the Imperial Lounge. This was the location of our muster station for this cruise. This location is where we had the silent disco on Freedom of the Seas. On this cruise, we enjoyed some adult trivia and some live music in here. Just outside of the Imperial Lounge is the card room. Inside are some board games, a few books, but the majority are in a different library on a different floor. Leaving the card room, you are now at the forward part of the Royal Promenade, a large walkway that stretches all of Deck 5.
First thing you will run into is the cafe promenade. This is where you will find your late night pizza as well as coffee and ice cream. Back on our trip in September of 23, they had been in Jerry's, but in December of 2023, Royal announced they would be moving to a house brand. During breakfast, you can find pastries and breakfast sandwiches available as well as regular drip coffee set up in the seating area if you don't want to wait for a premium coffee beverage by the ice cream spot. The menu changes throughout the day for other sandwiches and pastries, and of course they start serving pizza since there is no Sorrentos on board. The English pub style bar on the ship is called the Duck and Dog. It has a variety of beers and whiskey depending on what you're in the mood for. They also would typically have music played either outside of the cafe promenade or inside of the Duck and Dog depending on the day. Next on our tour is Perfume and Cosmetics, a store full of all of your perfume and makeup needs. They have different deals on the ship throughout the journey. Next, we go into logo and souvenir. You'll find all of your royal branded items here as well as some cruise essentials that you may have forgotten. I tried to show off as much of the shop as possible so you can get an idea of what the shop has to offer.
You'll also find fashion boutique in this area. Here you'll find branded clothing, bags, sunglasses, accessories, and more from Herschel, Ray-Ban, Tommy Bahama, and more. Izumi is located across the walkway from Logo and Souvenir. Izumi's is a premium dining option and comes at an additional cost. On Adventure of the Seas, they do not have any hibachi options, but they do have plenty of sushi options. The day I was touring the location, they were set up for the sushi making class. Just past the Zoomies is General Store. This is primarily a spot for you to find a variety of liquors for purchase as well as cigarettes and cigars, but they do have some basic care items that you may have forgotten as well as snacks you may be craving such as Pringles or a Snickers.
Across from the general store is gifts and jewelry. If you are wanting to collect the Eufy bracelets, this is where you will find them during the cruise, as well as some of the champagne and shopping events. This store has a wide variety of jewelry and watches. Near the aft of the ship, you'll find the champagne bar. This was a nice quiet bar most of the time, which does serve more than just champagne. On the other side of this atrium area, you'll find the short excursion desk as well as guest services. While wandering around the ship, you'll find these interactive screens that will actually help you find your way around the ship as well as showing you exactly what's going on currently. Directly above this area of the ship on deck 6, you'll find the next cruise area. You can find some great deals and typically onboard credit bonuses if you book while you're still on board the ship. If you like to use your own travel agent, you can just let them know while you're booking it and they will connect it to your travel agent's account so they can help you once you're off the ship.
Above Next Cruise, you'll find the library and internet cafe. The library is on deck seven and internet cafe is on deck eight. There were decent amount of books inside and we rarely found the internet cafe to be too busy as our room was on deck eight, just around the corner from it and we hardly ever saw anyone in there. Next, we will move up to deck 11. Decks 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are all primarily for rooms with the exception of the next cruise, library, and internet cafe that I mentioned before. Deck 11 forward contains access to Vitality at Sea. On the primary level, you'll find the group exercise area and gym equipment for all of your exercise needs.
Just outside of the Vitality at Sea area is the adult-only section of the ship called the Solarium. It contains a pool and two hot tubs, as well as a bar. The day at sea definitely kept this area pretty full and busy, so show up early if you want to snag one of these spots. Continuing to the midship area, you'll find the main pool deck which includes more hot tubs, swimming pools, and splash away bay for the kids. Near the side with the hot tubs and splash away bay is a large screen where they'll show outdoor movies on a few of the nights during the cruise. On the opposite side of the area, you'll find the pool bar and a stage where they will sometimes have outdoor exercise classes or dancing classes and of course live music. Around the corner from the pool bar and stage, you'll find the Sea Trek Dive Shop. They have a variety of swim gear items as well as GoPros and waterproof phone covers. There is also a towel station right across from the shop. Above the pool bar are some chairs and it makes for some pretty great people watching, especially when it overlooks the stage. Just before you reach the aft of the ship, you'll find another one of the Adventure of the Seas premium restaurants. It is Giovanni's Table. This does come at an extra cost and is not included in the price of your cruise. We enjoyed this lovely restaurant for our anniversary as we were celebrating it at the start of the cruise. The service was fantastic and the food was delicious. Giovanni's provides Italian style fare and the views were absolutely gorgeous looking out the windows.
during breakfast and sometimes during lunch, Giovanni's would actually open up into the windjammer, which is the buffet section of the ship, for overflow seating. Near the aft portion of the ship, you'll find the Windjammer Cafe and Island Grill. Both are complimentary eateries and they are the buffet options on board the ship. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and has a huge variety of different options to try out. Especially on boarding day and on sea days, this restaurant can get extremely packed. So if you're looking for extra tables and you cannot find one, remember that you can always go back to Giovanni's to try and snag a table there, or you can always just take a plate of food out with you to the main pool deck. At the forward portion of the ship on deck 12, you'll find the second level of the Vitality at Sea and more specifically the Spa. Outside of the spa, you'll find a sun deck directly above the solarium with lots of seating, assuming you don't mind being a little ways away from a bar and activities.
You'll also find the running track on deck 12. Around the midship area, you'll find the sky bar, which is directly above the deck 11 pool bar. On top of the sky bar is a small platform for sunbathing. Near the aft portion of the ship on deck 12, you'll find Adventure Ocean, which accesses some of the child care facilities as well as the arcade. We were unable to film anything from the child care facilities for obvious reasons. They had a pretty good size arcade with a large amount of games to check out.
At the back of the arcade, you'll find Johnny Rockets that is typically open for lunch and dinner. We enjoyed lunch here on the sea day and it does come at an additional cost. It is very similar to a regular Johnny Rockets you would go to on land, including dancing to random songs. Behind Adventure Ocean, you'll find the bottom part of Adventure Dunes and some ping pong tables. Stairs bring you up to the perfect storm and flow rider on deck 13. Moving towards midship, you'll find the top portion of Adventure Dunes as well as the sports courts and rock climbing walls. During the day at sea, they had open play for pickleball and more. If you go back down to deck 12, you can walk back to the forward portion of the ship and then back up to deck 13 and you will find a sun deck. They did have a couple of activities up here, but it was mostly empty and there were always lounge beds for sunbathing available.
If you take the elevator near the aft portion of the ship, you'll be able to take it to deck 14 and locate the Sweet Lounge, Diamond Club, Viking Crown Lounge, and of course, Blue Moon. Most days, Blue Moon was empty and quiet throughout the day, though the bar is not open until much later in the afternoon. It is a nice and quiet, comfortable place to relax. Later in the evening, the Blue Moon would host some of the silent discos as well as a light night spot for dancing and the bar would be one of the last ones that glows on board the ship each day. Above the blue moon on deck 15 is the Skylight Chapel. Unfortunately, it was being used almost every time I tried to access it, so I was unable to go in and check it out. All right, welcome to our cabin tour. <laughs> Been hanging out in the solarium for a little bit for a room to get done. It is 1 p.m. There's our thermostat. It is nice and comfortable in here. Got plenty of mirrors, floor to ceiling. Probably about seven and a half feet in here is my guess. <clears throat> it's not too crazy. Maybe it's just seven. We do have a balcony room for the trip. Let's see if I can do this right. Which way does the curtain go? Pulls all the way across. This is the oldest royal ship that we've been on, but I'm cool with it. Cause it looks like they've done their best to take care of it. We ended up doing royal up and got moved into a extended balcony which means that the balcony is not actually extended. The room itself is a little bit bigger, which honestly, unless you plan on spending a whole lot of time out on that balcony, I'd rather have inside space over outside space. Here we are. Let's, all right, watch your step. Let's see if I can get this to focus. What are we doing over here? Please keep your balcony door shut. All right, so now it's locked. I'm gonna eventually get these down and packed. All right, so now, oh, now it's locked. That's not moving. All right, then we twist it down. Are we unlocked now? Can I leave? Yes, all the way down. Let's you open up. Sealed. Not as open as some other ones that I've been on, but it's still pretty nice. We got a table. Try and get all the way back in the corner. A little light. Decent amount of privacy, honestly. Some cruise ships you just have like a little barrier. And this is steel, floor to ceiling. We are in Fort Lauderdale. 
little bright there. Sorry, guys. Look at that. All right. Downtown Fort Lauderdale that way. We should be leaving in about another three hours. Close this back up. All right, let's seal this bad boy. So what do we got going on over here? We have lights. If I can figure out how to use anything, you can twist it around. I don't know how you turn this on. I'm not special enough. I don't see any charge ports over here. Nice little shelf space over here oh look at that is that the light switch it turns on those lights how do these turn on am i just not figuring this out i'm not special enough i don't know we'll figure that out i'll make a video once i figure out how that works over here QR code that you can scan to request. Phone right by the side. And another drawer. Ignore all of our crap. We're still waiting for our luggage, which is fine. We're not trying to get dressed for anything yet. Nice big couch. Couple spots, but hey, it's an older ship. Everything looks clean overall. Got what looks like about a 27 inch screen TV. Mess with that later. Down here. All right, so we got a cooler. Um, they did offer a chance for you to request a actual fridge if you need um, like something for insulin, your diabetes or whatever else. Cool, it's better than nothing. Right, going on top shelf. Look at that, you got your basic hair dryer. You got two hundred and twenty volt. Turn the lights on here. Oh, I'm getting some banding. Sorry. <clears throat> and you got a two thirty over here. So if you can get just an adapter, you'll be good to go. You can turn the volume up and down on the announcement channel. Well, that's nice. So you can get blasted or not. What is this? Some Kleenex. All right, let's look at this closet now. Oh, that's a, let's, let's turn this down so I can actually see in here. Ooh, too low. All right. Bunch of shelves so you can unpack. Some, my God, I think this is the most amount of hangers I think I've ever seen. Oh. Not exactly organized. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22 hangers. That is a lot, but more than enough for what we need. All right, let's get into the bathroom. Something I do wanna comment, uh, there is no key card insert in this room. For like green efficiency, some rooms require that you put a key card in there. So it makes sure that you don't waste electricity if you're not actually in the room. So that's fine. Watch your step. Yeah, we got a little bit of a dip there. The light switch is on the outside which would kind of suck if you're trying to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. Be careful so you're not blinding your uh, other folks. On the ceiling here, you got a multi-purpose outlet that works for both 230 and 115 volt. So you shouldn't need an adapter, but I could be wrong. Got a couple glasses down here. Soap. This flips open this way, some storage. Any other storage? No, that's the only concealed storage. 
But most important thing is we got this little rack here because we get hanging bags. Let's look at this guy. Slides open. Oh, there you go. Got your swimsuit hanger. Pull it across. Slide it right up there. Let your stuff dry out. A little air port. Your all-in-one hair body wash stuff. Some people like it, some people hate it. If you don't want to pack it, it's nice. All right, let me get in here. I got some wide shoulders. I feel like I'm comfortable. If you're a little bit of a bigger guy, you may struggle a little bit. No, let's see if I can get this with this camera doing some weird functions. There we go. And I'm just spinning around. This is going to be fun to edit later. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I wouldn't fit two people in here unless you're desperate. Like, you have your own place, so just figure it out. Yeah, that's pretty much the cabin. We are near the front of the ship. Um... Nothing is above us, nothing's below us. We try to make sure that we don't have the deck above us. We made a mistake. Beginning of last year, we uh, stayed right below the adult only deck on a carnival cruise ship. And every morning, 6 a.m., we woke up to the sound of people scraping deck chairs above our cabin. So avoid that at full cost i missed these guys over here uh what's in here Ooh, you got your safe and some basic storage up here as well good amount of space i'm gonna turn the ac down a little bit more because a little sweaty it is a toasty day in fort lauderdale right now cheers we are going on a seven night cruise leaving fort lauderdale First stop, I think, is Honduras, Belize, Cozumel. We got two days at sea, so two formal nights. So we're going to try and dress our best. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy the cruise. Until the next one. We appreciate you clicking on the video and we hope you enjoyed the ship tour. If you have any questions that weren't covered in the video, please feel free to ask them below and we will do our best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and we hope you will check out more of our videos in the future.